Yeah, we're with them. Yeah, you guys just... I'm trying to keep the area clear so people can get through. Sure. 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 So you guys saw War of Cybertron? Yeah, cool. How was that? Very cool. Um, Grimlock looks awesome. The transformation from him to Dinosaur. The dinosaur. Really fluid. Really, like, really, really cool looking. And Metroplex. Not this time, a resurrects Metroplex. And that son of a bitch just comes up and starts wrecking. It's huge. Yeah, it's very... A lot of action. Yeah. High action. High action. War for Cybertron. It's like yeah. it's very Michael Bay-esque, but also back to... Can they... Are they back on songs? I don't know. Cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah. Trying to catch up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
inside of a game. Yep, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and now you can use Microsoft <laughs> Smart Glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the page. That would be, that'd be a great way I to do it. I want to hear what Murphy thinks. Exactly. Bring the book. Well, um, it's looking. As, <laughs> as Jamie knows, kind of, you know, MMO guy. Um, <laughs> I came away with uh, Elder Scrolls. I'm, like, intrigued and interested, I guess, maybe optimistic, but not entirely wowed. Right. Um... I think that it looks really good for MMO. I think the water is actually, anyway, the water is actually amazing. <laughs> the visuals. Yeah, the visuals look good. We're all about graphics um, this year. C3. <laughs> How many pixels? But, um, the center of a pixel. I'm guilty as far as game too. mechanics go, uh, and the story is, uh, is is good. And as far as like introducing more of the lore into the Elder Scrolls world is, is amazing. But as far as the, the game mechanics go, I feel like they try. They they're they, they seem to be trying to copy a lot of what Guild Wars 2 is doing. Okay, yeah. But they don't seem to be is doing. that bad? No, no, it's good. But I don't think they're doing it as well as Arena okay. and NC or well, it's just publishers as well as Arena is doing it. Okay. And they say they they have like a more action based gameplay. But what I saw was a lot of the same walk up, press skill bar, hack. But well, was press skill bar? Was that or was that a, a real time hack? I thought that it was real time hack because he was saying, "Look, this is something where I'm holding down well, the attack even button." Even if it is a real time is. hack compared to what um, Go Wars is doing, where you can run around and dodge and roll and right, stuff right. like that, like after after having played the beta of, uh, of Go Wars 2, like and watching that, like I feel like the action and combat just it's. It's just too typical MMO for me. It's not right. as, as innovative as I, so as I was hoping. They were really harping on real time blocking. Yeah. Not that, being a that, demo, however, I was really I, I really want to understand why real, that's so important. Real, well, most MMOs, there's no block button. There's nothing to block with. You, you, just, you just take the damage, or in Guild Wars 2's case, you, you move out you the way. Yeah. Um, so, could so, that take so the place like, of all that like rolling that you were talking about? It could. But this, this is like an impressive first in MMOs. Is the fact that you can not just block, but also you can sneak without using a skill. But any character can sneak. As a Dark Souls player, oh, I find blocking to be very important. Right. Everyone say the game that they're most excited about that isn't at the show. <laughs> Guild Wars 2, Dark Souls Flash, I get for that. Um, um, <laughs> everything I want to do. Yeah, um, another, what I did like, though, is the fact that they didn't, they didn't switch off. Um, to a standard just like health and energy system, like most of them do, they stuck with health, stamina, and magic. Because most most yeah. MMOs will ditch the stamina. I have to say, as a, as a non MMO player, I really like the fact that the UI is basically non existent. Yeah, it's all roll over UI. Now, I like that a lot. Now, going back to the stamina bar, is a lot, are a lot of the skills, what I was taking away was the skills are resource management based on your stamina bar. Yeah, that, that's what he was saying, right? So it's not necessarily the same idea of everything is based on cooldown effect. And not yeah, it seems like what they're doing is that basically um, your skills are probably going to, if you're a magic user, your, your skills are going to be based more on, on training magic. magic but if you're like more of a, a fighter, you're going to use up more of your stamina using your attack. It seems like so that's the two cool. bars are going to vary based on what your skills are. That, that's more of like a real-time management system, I'd say. Which which is appealing to you know me, the Dark Souls player. All right, now <laughs> this door just opened. We're about to walk in our next appointment. Do you want to turn around, face that picture, and tell them what we're going to be seeing? Boom. Yeah, yeah. That was Terminator, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go inside behind closed doors. Can't take video, but um, we'll tell you about it. We'll tell you about it when we get back. Expect a lot of explosions. Uh, and a, lot of, a lot of this work. A lot of this sound. <laughs> By the way, guess who's here? Do you remember two years ago we... Ended up in the acquisition. <laughs> uh, actually, he was up there. Frank West. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we talked to the guy who's like the military advisor for Treyarch. Yeah. Oh, he's here. He was like a Vietnam dad. Yeah. He's, he's here again. I don't remember. We want to talk but to him. Me and he is I remember talking to him and being like, he's the one person who's doing one. He's there. He's there. He's there.